President Trump's facing mounting legal and political challenges after he declared a national emergency Friday in an attempt to circumvent Congress and build a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. This is Trump speaking in the Rose Garden on Friday. In fact, the primary fight was on the wall. Everything else we have so much, as I said, I don't know what to do with it. We have so much money. But on the wall, they skimped. So I did, I was successful in that sense, um, but I want to do it faster. I could do the wall over a longer period of time. I didn't need to do this, but I'd rather do it much faster. In addition to the nearly $1.4 billion of border barrier funding contained in the newly passed spending bill, Trump plans to divert federal funds from the military and Treasury Department budgets, ballooning the overall cost for the border wall to $8 billion, far more than the $5.7 billion Trump previously asked for. Trump also said he expects to be sued over the move, but believes he'll ultimately prevail at the Supreme Court, citing his Muslim travel ban and is a precedent for such a legal path. California, along with other states, including Minnesota, Oregon, New Mexico and Hawaii, are planning legal action challenging Trump's emergency declaration. House Democrats say they'll pass a resolution disapproving the declaration, while the White House over the weekend indicated Trump will veto any congressional efforts to block his plan. Legal groups, including the ACLU and Public Citizen, are also planning to challenge the emergency declaration in court. Hundreds of protests have been planned around the country today. In New York City, demonstrators turned out Friday evening in front of the Trump International Hotel to protest the emergency declaration. Multiple arrests were reported at the peaceful demonstration after police blocked the sidewalks and protesters instead moved into the street. This is Jody Q of Rise and Resist speaking to Democracy Now! It's unconstitutional. It's completely immoral. It's against everything that we stand for. Uh, this is a nation of immigrants, and there is no reason that we should be keeping immigrants out. We should be celebrating them and welcoming them. If, if he's going to mess with our business, we're going to mess with his business.